That's right, it's that slightly uncouth person who occasionally looks really, really ugly on some of his thumbnails. Uh, and of course, Nick Dutch back again one more time. And I just want to add another bit of thinking to this whole, like, uh, contemplation about the subject of magic, witchcraft, spiritualism, and all that kind of stuff. By analogy, right? If someone's an athlete, and they've got to go and do some particular thing, they need to learn a new, I don't know, martial art on some, or something, they could go to a specific personal trainer. And that specific personal trainer would say something like, you've got to do this much, you know, track and field, this much um, strongman exercises, this much stretching, this much yoga, and that type of Pilates, and this, that, and the other, in order to build your body in the right way over a period of time with the right diet, nutrition, exercise, steroids, and all this other stuff, in order to turn them from being what they are when they first start making inquiries about this into someone who would then be athletic enough in the right ways to do the task at hand. Now, you're, on the other hand, thinking to yourself, I'm curious about this, that, and the other, and I'm, I've got my own personal goal, you haven't told anyone else what it is because you're a bit embarrassed to tell anyone because it's probably a bit mad anyway. Um, but then, you know, you've got that personal goal inside you, and you've you got to think about whether you're actually moving in that right direction. Are you picking up the right developmental exercises, or indeed, is this the right pursuit for you? I mean, most normal people don't need to know any of, it, of this stuff. It's not important to anyone. It won't help you necessarily get yourself a lover or a drug or a job or um, sort out any of your material problems and pay off your debts and all this that and the other we're not talking about something which most people need to know so you got to think carefully about you know what is it that you're trying to achieve what particular questions you're trying to answer inside yourself and whether you're moving in the right direction for it and whether the vehicle and the, the people and the attitudes of the people around you who are involved in this also is actually genuinely moving you in that direction and if the answer to any of those questions is, well, like, maybe, like, not quite, then you've got to think about what else you need to do in order to try and get yourself stronger and fitter and moving in the right direction to understand what it, what it is that you think you will be able to do once you've done enough of the right type of exercises, which, which I've been terming as preparatory exercises here because it's the sort of thing you would try and do before you try and do your little experimentation, your little ritual thing. Mm. But can all of the information that you get come from somebody else's words? Can all of the information that you need come from repeating somebody else's words when essentially what we need to do is think about how the discipline of the self-training, which you will have selected for yourself out of all the various different exercises out there, is best for you to improve your, I don't know, intuition, cognition, healing skills, or whatever it is you've got, uh, in the right direction for yourself, and to sort of like put yourself outside of the comfort zone through reading other stuff, which will explain the same things in a slightly different way, and think about how you are changing and what things you've experienced correlates with what things in what books and why you think it's worthwhile following that particular line of argumentation and experimentation in your development of this stuff. It therefore requires thought and training and working out where you are and what you're going into and what particular aspects of this complicated and frequently mind-bending uh, and, you know, sometimes mind-dangerous discipline we're talking about here. The only real dangers of the occult is intellectual and taking it too seriously and not thinking things through and not being scientific about everything that you're experiencing or you're trying to experience. That's essentially the only danger as far as I can tell. And that unfortunately is the main, the main danger.